Hey everybody, it's Rico Suave. Today I want to talk about the beans and the bullets, if you will. Now, I'm going to say this, I'm going to repeat this. Bullets, very, 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 very important. Beans are also very, 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 very important. And today I want to talk about just the shift that I've made through my preparedness, you know, the preparedness lifestyle, if you will. I just want to talk about just quite briefly what I look for and kind of what everyday shopping is like for me. So stay with me. Hey everyone, it's me here grocery shopping at my local store and I always make time to stop and see what seeds they have available. I like to go with the organic or heirloom seeds. So I think we're picking up some radishes today. The reason why it's good to pick, pick up organic seeds and heirloom seeds is because you can replant them again and again, meaning that they're not GMO, they're not modified in any, in any way, so you're able to use them again and again and again. So once you have, uh, once you plant once, as long as you keep reusing the seeds that are, uh, are grown from that plant, you'll have food and plants indefinitely. So, I always uh, make a conscious effort whenever I'm grocery shopping to come on by the garden section and look at what seeds they have available. So, always good to get a couple seeds, you know, because when it really comes down to it, you know, some people will go and get bullets and they'll get all this other, all these other things, which are good, but you can only eat a bullet once. So, that's that. But uh, more to come, stay with me. Hey everybody, so I'm back. And you kind of just kind of got a good view of kind of everyday shopping, grocery shopping. So I mean, as you can tell, like I said in the in the video there, there's definitely a huge importance for having protection. There's a huge importance for ammunition. Totally, 110% agree with that. But starting off, you know, when I started off in preparedness, that's what I thought the most important thing was. You know, having as many you know firearms as you could having as many, much ammo as you can and then as I matured I guess that's the best way to describe it um, and I'm not trying to you know be offensive to anybody but as I re matured and I looked at deductive reasoning and I looked at just common sense if you will I realized that yeah you can have you know and if you were to go to the store and you were to buy you know every time you went to Walmart every time you went to a store, you know, your grocery store, your store that Kmart or whatever, any store that you went to that had ammunition there, if you were to buy, you know, a box or two of ammo every single time you're at that store over the course of, like with me, two years, you would accumulate quite a bit of uh, assets, <laughs> if you will. But in reality, when you look at it, are you really looking to get into a firefight? If you legitly got into a firefight where you were expending you know, more than a couple hundred rounds, what would you look like? What would the place of residence where you were at look like? Because if I'm carrying that much ammo, chances are I'm not walking around carrying it on my everyday carry. It's a place that I'm hunkered into. So if you look at it deductively, if you looked at it with common sense, if we're really being reasonable here, if you're expending that many rounds, what are you going to look like? What's your surroundings going to look like? Let's just be honest, you know what I mean? So <laughs> so with, with that being stated, if you're in that position, chances are you have bigger things to be worrying about, like patching yourself up, even if you do take care of all the threats, right? You eliminate all the threats. What's your, what's your you know, your fortifying being going to be? What's your house, your wherever it is that you're ter currently taking residence at where you're going to have access to that kind of... Uh, resources what is that gonna look like so when you look at it deductively and you look at it reasonably and you look at the time it would take to expend that many rounds on target you really start to look at it like in in the military you know we call it Narnia Narnia land because chances are you're not gonna be looking too good definitely your place is gonna be looking too good and hopefully more importantly the person that's gonna be you know causing that kind of catastrophe against oneself is not gonna be looking very good either so when you look at it like that deductively, you know, after two years, I kind of I kind of got what I felt like I needed from it. And, you know, I started getting smart and I realized that 
don't get me wrong, like I said before, ammo is super important. Have as much ammo as you can. No joke. Go and get it. But reality, food is, in my opinion, a little more important. You know, I'm not looking to get into a firefight that requires any bullets, but if I do, you know, if I have to expend thousands of rounds of ammo or even hundreds of that, eh, chances are I probably need a bug out or I'm probably in a really bad situation. So like I said, if we're looking at this deductively and we're looking at this in a reasonable mindset, you know, it'd probably be very, very, very beneficial and behoove you to have, you know, something that you can store. So in my aspect, that seed, seed storage, that's something that's very, very important to me. Give me one second. So this is just one bag that I've been working on. You know, I have others, but in this bag alone, you can see all the seeds I have in here. I mean, shoot, I probably have easily... I mean, those are the beats you saw earlier. Hundreds and hundreds of seeds just in this one bag. So, you know, you fill a bag up, you zip tie it up, you keep going. Cantaloupe. Cantaloupe. Actual black beans. I have watermelon in here. Broccoli. I mean, cucumber. Tomatoes. Oregano. Carrots. Spinach. Kale. Onion. Onion. I have so many different kinds of seeds in here. Like I said, I have hundreds of seeds that are in just this one bag alone. So when you look at it from you know a deductive reasoning standpoint, that to me is worth far more in weight and value overall than you know just buying up on things that I'm really not going to need. Not not hopefully I never have to use those, but if the time comes, you know, and I'm having to leave, that is not only a great barter tool, but Having, for one person, having thousands of seeds available at your disposal at any time, even if you're a family, if you're a family of five, six, seven, having thousands of seeds at your disposal is great. Each seed packet costs about 80 to 90 cents. So while you're at the store, you know, grab an extra can of, you know, dry food, wet food, you know, grab an extra can of, a couple cans of beans, tomatoes, but also grab some seeds. You know what I mean? Like I said, for me, I, the amount of money I'm spending this is completely unnotional. Unnotional. I don't even notice the fact that I'm grabbing an extra. To me, this is buying an extra pack of bubble gum or so. So every time I go to the store, it's like buying an extra pack of bubble gum. I don't notice it. I don't think about it. But the effects and the benefits it's going to have for me long term is paramount. So I definitely encourage you guys, especially those of you guys that are just putting all your money into ammo and everything. That's great. God bless you. Keep doing it. You know, keep doing your thing. But think about it. What are you going to look like after expending 200, 300 rounds on target? Hopefully on target. What are you going to look like? What's your perimeter going to look like? What's your dwelling going to look like? That's important. That's very important, you know. But what's more important, having food or the fact that you have 10,000 rounds of ammo? Like I said before, don't get me wrong, ammo is great. If you have the money to buy both, absolutely. But if I had a healthy supply of ammunition, <laughs> and healthy is depending on where you're at, I'm not going to get into that. But definitely having the ability to feed yourself, to feed your family, I find to be most important at all. Because I'm not going to go out looking for trouble. And that's the thing. If I have seeds, I don't have to go around looking for trouble because I have food. <laughs> I, have, I, have, I have more food than I know what to do with. So having the ability to do that than to have, because let's be honest, if all you have is ammo, what do you have to do? You have to go out and get food, right? <laughs> you have to engage. <laughs> you have to engage the enemy, and the enemy being anything that can get you resources. I don't have that problem. I have food. I have seeds. I have, I have stuff on storage. I don't have to go anywhere. I don't have to go looking for trouble. When you have nothing but ammo, you are looking for trouble. If you have ammo and you have plenty of food, you don't have to look for anything. All you have to do is protect what's yours. So it's just something to keep in the back of your mind. Hope I haven't taken too much of your time. And as always, long live the Republic.